Looking for a retirement podcast that covers all aspects of retirement planning? Well, look no farther than this podcast. Hosted by me, Nesto Vargas, a certified financial planner, knowledgeable and experienced Latino financial advisor. Each episode features in-depth discussions on a variety of topics, including retirement planning strategies, investment options, tax considerations, social security, healthcare planning, and much more. But I also will add a unique twist to the show. Occasionally, I will dive into the considerations your citizens should make when thinking about retirement abroad, exploring different destinations and lifestyles that can be affordable and enjoyable during your golden years. With my extensive knowledge and experience in retirement planning, you'll get the information you need to make informed decisions about your future. So whether you're a Latino looking for retirement planning tips from someone who understands your cultural background or just someone who wants to learn more about your retirement planning, this podcast is the perfect place to start. Tune in today and let's start planning for your retirement with confidence. Today, we have an extraordinary topic that challenges one of the most ingrained principles in investing. Buckle up because we're about to question the age old rule that suggests investors should become more conservative as they get older. Have you ever heard one of the following rules of thumb that helps you come up with the stock to bond ratio? This is the first one. Take 100 and subtract your age, and the result is how much stocks you should have in your portfolio. How about this other one? Put more bonds in your portfolio as you get closer to retirement. What if I were to tell you that there's a different approach, a strategy that dares to defy the norm? Imagine building a financial fortress, a war chest, if you will, that empowers you to weather any storm that comes your way. We're talking about an unconventional perspective that says, take charge of your financial destiny and pave your own path, regardless of age. This is your host, Nestor Vargas, certified financial planner and your Latino money man. Bienvenidos. Welcome back to another episode of the Green Cards to Greenbacks podcast, sponsored by Green Mountain Planning where I help individuals over 50 retire with ease and confidence, and where Latinos can find someone who understands their cultural background. Okay, before we dive into the material today, I want to start with a joke. If you've been following my podcast, you know my jokes are bad, so get ready for another bad one. And this joke is so bad that I actually have to set it up. So let me set this up for you. The Chinese currency is called a yuan, okay? So here's the joke. Why did the elementary kids go up to their Hispanic teacher to talk about Chinese currency? Because it takes a one to know a yuan. I know, I know it's terrible, but you know what? I'm, I'm having fun and, and I hope you guys can find a little bit of you know, happiness in that joke. Let me, let me go ahead and get, get serious. Let me go ahead and start this episode and in going actually into the material by giving you a tool in form of a question that I believe has the potential to make you thousands of dollars. Okay, here's the question. How do you feel about a bank or corporation getting wealthy from your hard earned dollars? Or another way, if you're in retirement or closer to retirement, how do you feel about a bank or corporation taking away the ability for you to maximize the experiences during your golden years? Because that's exactly what you're doing when you have too much cash or too many bonds in your portfolio. Let me give you an example of how dangerous the rule of thumb of taking 100 and subtracting your age to come up with your asset allocation, your stock to bond ratio can be. I have a client right now who is 54 years old and has $2 million saved. I know he's done a great job. Maybe you don't have $2 million, but this example in the work chest methodology that I'm going to talk about definitely, definitely is something that you can use as well. So going back to that example, if we were to use the rule of thumb to come up with a stock to bond ratio, 
it would mean that we would have to have them in an allocation, an asset allocation of 60% stocks. How do I come up with that? Like 100 minus 54 is 56, rounded up to 60, okay? So that would mean that he would have $800,000 of his portfolio in bonds. 40% of $2 million is 800,000, which is crazy. Okay, so let's, let's use some numbers, right? Let's kind of dive into a little more just to really drive home how much wealth this person could be giving up by just using this ridiculous rule of thumb, okay? Instead of using the work chest methodology that I recommend to my clients. All right, so $800,000 during a 30-year time frame, and I'm using a 30-year time frame because that's how long typically retirement will last. Hopefully your retirement is longer. I know for him it will be because he's gonna retire earlier. So a $800,000, 30-year time frame, a 60% stock portfolio, averaging 8.8% per year would be worth $10,080,000, which is just crazy just to see how powerful compounding interest can be. And I know like, you know, for you analytical people who are listening to this, yeah, this person's withdrawn from the portfolio, so the ending amount wouldn't be the $10 million, but just bear with me because I'm trying to make this simple, okay? I actually have this particular client that we're talking about in a 90% stock portfolio. And so let's take a look at how massive the difference can be. A $800,000 portfolio during a 30 year time frame in, nine, in a 90% stock portfolio, averaging 10% per year, would be worth $13,920,000. This is a difference of $3,840,000. In other words, the rule of thumb that, you know, using the 100, subtracting your age to come up with asset allocation would have cost this client $3,840,000. This is money that could be going to his heirs to create generational wealth or even support a charity. Look, at this point, you're probably having a few questions, maybe some of the following questions are, what the heck is a war chest? Aren't stocks too risky in retirement? And look, I don't have a million dollars or millions of dollars, this is applied to me. Let me answer this question. A war chest is a pot of money invested in bonds and cash and is there to do one thing, reduce the risk of having to sell stocks in your portfolio at the wrong time. Wrong time would be a recession or something like that. So you create a war chest by understanding how much you need to withdraw from a portfolio on a monthly basis to supplement your other sources of income and afford your lifestyle. In my client's example, they're only going to need to withdraw $5,000 per month from their portfolio in retirement. So let's just do some simple math. 5,000 times 12 months gives us $60,000 a year that we need from the portfolio. 60,000 times three, three years, it's $180,000. Why did I use three years? Typically a recession will last about a year and a half to two years. So having a good war chest for us to actually dip into during those recessionary periods, I think two or three years is plenty, okay? Now, 10% of $2 million is $200,000. That's why we only need 10% of his portfolio in stocks and bonds. We don't need more than that. And right? now that we've talked about how to create a work chest, let's discuss the risk of stocks. Look, I believe that people see volatility as risk. And volatility is how much your portfolio goes up and down, you know, during the market downturn. But the true risk is you're not maximizing the experiences you can have during your golden years because you were too conservative. Now, look, make no mistake. I'm not saying that volatility is not a risk but it's one that can absolutely be managed by having a properly funded war chest. Look, I know my example of a high net worth client can be a little you know, outrageous. You might say, I don't have $2 million, but I have clients who also have $500,000. And that particular client, the one that comes to my mind right now lives in Wyoming, and we have him in an 80% stock portfolio. Why? Because we went back to the needs for the portfolio. We did the simple math when we came up with that strategy. In this episode, we discussed the importance of looking at your specific 
portfolio needs to come up with your stock to bond ratio, also known as asset allocation. We also went over a real life scenario and where I showed you how using the rule of thumb in your personal financial life can cost you thousands, if not millions of dollars. Remember, volatility is not true risk in retirement. It's not the true risk in retirement. The true risk is you not maximizing the experiences during your golden years or worse off, you are living your money because you did not allow it to grow. By using the war chest methodology, you can maximize growth, minimize risk. As always, if you have any other questions or would like to discuss your retirement investment strategy further, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Thank you for listening. Let's go make this greenbacks. Adios. Bueno pues. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I want to go ahead and ask you to please send me any questions you may have or any topics you want me to talk about. Go ahead and send them to Nestor, N-E-S-T-O-R, at greencards2greenbacks.com. I actually read every email you send, so I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to head over to greencards2greenbacks.com for the show notes for this episode and really links to any resources we may have discussed. Bueno, amigos y amigas, nos vemos pronto. Let's go make those greenbacks. This is because of lawyers. You should consult a financial advisor who's familiar with your specific circumstances and of your unique financial life before making any financial decisions. Nothing in this broadcast constitutes a solicitation for the sale or purchase of any securities. Any mention rates of return are historical or hypothetical in nature and are not a guarantee of future returns. Nestor Vargas is an investment representative advisor of Green Mountain Planning, a Colorado registered investment advisor.